In this Easy Ed video lecture, we are going to study C character set, trigraph sequence, and C tokens, which include keywords, identifiers, and constants, separators, and operators. Let's start learning C character set first. Just as each language has vocabulary and grammar, so does C. The characters which can be used to form words, numbers, and expressions depend upon the machine on which the program runs. C consists of a wide set of characters called as the C character set, which includes letters which can be in uppercase or lowercase, digits ranging from 0 to 9, white spaces which include horizontal tab, carriage return, blank space, new line. Special characters include semicolon, period symbol, comma, plus, minus, and so on. The compiler ignores white spaces unless they are a part of a string. White spaces are used to separate the words. They cannot be used in keywords and identifiers. Hey, it's time to concentrate now. Moving on to the trigraph sequence. There are certain non-English keyboards which do not support all the special characters mentioned in the C character set. Thus, to enter these characters, C has the concept of trigraph sequence. Each trigraph sequence consists of three characters. Two question mark followed by another character. For example, if a keyboard does not support curly bracket, it can be still entered by using trigraph sequence. This notation gives an opening curly brace. Similarly, the other trigraph sequence characters are Let's learn C tokens now. In a passage of text individual punctuation marks and words are called as tokens. In C program 2, the smallest individual units are called as C tokens. There are five types of C tokens. Keywords, identifiers, constants, separators, operators. Seriously, pay attention. This is important. Let's learn each of them starting with the keywords first. In C, words are classified as keywords or identifiers. Each keyword has a predefined meaning and use, defined by the developer of the language. Thus, it cannot be used for any other purpose. There are 32 such keywords and they are always written in the lower case. Moving on to identifiers now. Identifiers are names given to anything for the purpose of identification. They are user-defined names given to function, memory location, arrays, etc. Identifiers basically consist of sequence of letters, digits or underscore with the letter as the first character. For example, year, principal, interest are identifiers. There are certain rules which should be followed while naming identifiers. First character should be an alphabet or underscore. It must have only digits or alphabets or underscore. First 31 characters are only significant. A keyword cannot be used to name an identifier. No white spaces are allowed. Variables. A variable is basically a data name that is used to store values. Unlike constants that remain unchanged during the program execution, a variable can take up several values during the program execution. Variables have the same naming rules as that of identifiers. Next we will learn constants. Constants are those values which do not change. They remain fixed throughout the program. Constants are classified as numerical constants and non-numerical constants. Numerical constants are further classified into integer and real constants, while non-numerical constants are divided into single character, string, special character constants. Moving on to integer constants. They are sequence of digits. There are three types of integer constants. Decimal integer, hexadecimal and octal integer. Decimal integer consists of digits 0 to 9 with an optional plus or minus sign. Examples are 466, 677, plus 78, minus 90. Embedded spaces, 
commas, non-digit characters are not allowed in integers. Hexadecimal integer are integers preceded by zero, small x, or zero, capital X. They may also have alphabets from A to F in lower as well as upper case. A to F represent digits from 10 to 15. Examples are hex 12, which denoted by this. Similarly, a hex 45 and 10 are represented this way. Lastly, octal integer constant consists of any combination of digits from 0 to 7. Examples are 23, 45, 76, 76, 45. The largest integer value that can be stored is machine dependent. A 16-bit machine can store only two raised to 16 values Seriously, pay attention. This is important. Let's study real constants now. Integer constants are inefficient to represent quantities that are continuous in nature, like temperature, prices, etc. To represent such quantities having fractional parts, floating point numbers or real numbers are used. These numbers are shown with decimal notation. The number is represented by the whole number followed by the decimal point with the fractional part following it. Have a look at the examples. Real numbers can also be expressed as an exponential value. They are represented this way. Mantisa is either a real or integer value. E stands for exponential representation. An exponent is an integer value with either a plus or minus sign. Considering this example, here E raised to 2 means multiply by 10 raised to 2. Moving on to single character constant. They consist of a single character enclosed with a pair of single codes. Example 6 A. Here this 6 is not the same as digit 6. Each character constant has an integer value known as ASCII value. The ASCII value of A is 65. Let's move on to string constants. The sequence of characters enclosed in double quotation marks is termed as string constants. Examples are A, ABC. Here this A is not equal to character A. Lastly, special character constants. C supports special character constants which use the backslash character and are used in output functions. Example, the symbol reverse slash N stands for new line character. Each of the special character constants represents one character, although they consist of two characters. The table below consists of the list of special symbol characters. Four type of C tokens are the separators. They are basically symbols in C which are used to provide separation between each token in a C program. The following special symbols are used in C having some special meaning and thus cannot be used for some other purpose. Braces. These opening and closing curly braces marks the start and the end of a block of code containing more than one executable statement. Parentheses. These special symbols are used to indicate function calls and functional parameters. Brackets. Opening and closing brackets are used as array element reference. These indicate single and multidimensional subscripts. Last type of C tokens to study are the operators. An operator is a symbol which shows the arithmetic, logical, relational operation to be performed. Operators are needed for composing expressions with variables. An expression basically consists of operands and operators. Operands. They are variables or constants on which the operations are performed. The operators can be classified based on the number of operands as unary, binary and ternary. While based on the operations the operators perform, they are classified as arithmetic, relational, logical, conditional, increment and decrement, assignment, bitwise, special operators. Let's have a quick review of what we've learned in this lecture. C consists of a wide set of characters called as the C character set. In order to enter the characters not supported by certain keyboards, C has the concept of trigraph sequence. In a C program, the smallest individual units are called as C tokens. Keyword is a special word reserved to serve a specific task. Identifiers are names given to specific objects for the purpose of identification. 
Constants are those values which do not change. Constants are classified as numerical constants and non-numerical constants. Numerical constants are further classified into integer and real constants, while non-numerical constants are divided into single character, string, special character constants. Then we studied the special character constants which comprises of the backslash characters, followed by the separators and the operators.